Lights here. Coming. And I'll be back by 11.30, I promise. Uh, if you're not back by 11.45, I sent a search party. <laughs> Bye. Hey, say hi to gang for me. You sure you don't want to go? We're going to Luke's after. I'm positive. <laughs> no? Uh-uh. All right. Bye, dear. Bye. Have a good time. I will. Bye. 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 Have fun. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make that same play in practice every time. I bet. I do. The coach says I might start next week. Why do girls play basketball anyways? Why do guys? Same reason they play any sport in high school. They get girls. <laughs> Come on, Alex. Hey, come on. Take it inside, huh? I'm on probation as if you did. Hold on. Over there in the middle. Oh, man, it's packed. There's no seats. Don't worry about it. Now look out, you come to Principal. Hello, boys. Are you going to bring home a wrestling championship for Chester Saturday? You can count on it. Heard about the talk you gave to the freshman class last week. We're all very proud of it. Well, thank you, Mr. Knight. Best way to scare kids off drugs is just tell them what I went through. Excuse me, me and my buddies want to squeeze in here? But there's no room. Oh, come on, just give it a try. Excuse me. Are we going to score you? Yeah, 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 we're up by four. So who's coming to this party tonight? Usual folks, it's uh, not going to be that big. Are they ever? <laughs> what was it? Hey, Luke Larson's having a party. You can call it that. Hey, let's get some beer first. Drink up, Pete. Chug, You are next. Yeah, you won't be able to get it in. Name on it. Here you go. No way. I may be a little late. I haven't found a ride yet. You want me to come and get you? No, Dad, I can find a ride. I can be there in 20 minutes. I'll call you back. I'll put on a football jersey. They'll think I'm your brother. Goodbye, Dad. Lisa, I can't wait any longer. I need a ride now. He hasn't asked me out yet. I'll give you a ride. No, that's okay. She lives right down the street from me. Yes, no problem. Why can't you go with her? I don't even know him! His name's Alex, and he's all everything at Chester. If you don't go with him, I will. Carrie, have uh, you met Alex Kelly? No. Hi. Hi. Listen, I can find a ride, really. At 11.30, she turns into a pumpkin, so <laughs> it's no problem, really. I can drop you off and come back. See, Carrie, when you're 17, you won't have this problem. Assuming you know how to drive by then. <laughs> It's a rush. She's got a curfew. It's a curfew. Thank you. Yeah. Bye tomorrow. <laughs> it's just here. Is this yours? No, it's my girlfriend's parents. They're away in Florida. Let me drive it. That's pretty nice of them.
doing? Oh, come on. No, just take me home. Please. Fine. You passed it. I'll just go up and turn around. No, just let me out. I can walk. No, no, that's all right. I'll just go up and turn around. You're gonna make love to me and I'll kill you. Why? I don't know. I... I couldn't help myself. If you tell anybody, I'll do it again. And then I'll kill you. Harry, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. I had a fight with a girl from school. I, I can't talk about it. Hi. Hey. You're in painkillers. are <laughs> so sweet. Hmm. How you feeling? I'm alive. Hi, darling. How did the game go? Oh, we won. Mm, great. Did you do anything interesting afterwards? Not special. You ready to go upstairs? Yeah. Right. Just lean on my arm. There. You got it? You go to bed? Put the lights up. Tell me what I missed. Oh my God, Carrie. Oh my God. Carrie, what? Yeah. What's wrong? I can't. I can't. I can't. Carrie. Oh. Carrie, what happened? He said it killed me. Who did? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Carrie. Oh. 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 Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. You're home now. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god. Carrie, 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 please, please. Tell me what happened. Carrie, tell me what happened. Please. You raped me. Who did? Who? Alex Kelly. What? Alex Kelly. But you can't tell anybody. You can't even tell mom and dad, please. You can't. Okay. You have to promise. Okay, okay I promise. I promise. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, well, Gary, I'm going to run you a hot bath, okay? It'll help. It'll help. Okay. 
Oh, what? What? My back. <laughs> oh, be hairy. Okay, take your pants. Oh, <laughs> what? What? Oh, oh God. Oh my God. Okay, I'll be right back. I don't know what to do, Andrew. But where's Mom and Dad? They're upstairs. They don't know anything. She won't let me tell them. I know, but she won't let me. Alex said he'd kill her, and she's terrified. Who is that? What are you doing? It's, it's Andrew. Talk to him, please. Hey, I'm so sorry. You all right? No. That was so awful, Andrew. It's so awful. But you gotta tell Mom and Dad. I can't. I can't do that. Okay. Then if it's all right with you, I'll tell him. Okay. Is this Joe Kelly, Alex's father? I just got a call from Carrie Roberts' father. She told him that you raped her. Is that true? What? Dad, are you kidding? No way. I don't even know her. I don't. Talk to Alex and he denies it. How's your daughter doing? Not well. So, uh, so what are you going to do? Well, at this point, I'm not sure. Carrie is extremely frightened because she says Alex threatened to kill her. We're trying to convince Carrie to go to the doctor and, and the police. Well, so be it. Yes. So be it. Joe? What was that all about? Mark Roberts is saying that Alex gave his daughter a ride home last night and raped her. Alex denies it. You were asleep. Oh, my God. Who's his daughter? Carrie? I don't even think Alex knows her. Wasn't even in the car with her. That's a hell of a thing to make up, son. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, is it possible that she could uh, have a crush on you? I wouldn't be surprised. She certainly wouldn't be the first one. Need to get you to a doctor no please i don't want to i know but he may have really hurt you internally and those bruises i don't want to see dr anderson no no you need to see a gynecologist well, um, Dr. Reston is very nice. No! Would you rather see a woman? I'll take care of that, all right? I have to 
go lie down. The doctor said there was trauma to the genital area. Multiple cuts and scrapes. He really roughed her up. It's just that she's such a happy, outgoing kid. I mean, how is this going to affect her? Yes. Yeah, I need to. Well, bring him with me upstairs. You feeling better, honey? I know how hard this is, but we're almost done. If you can just give me... shouldn't have come here. No. You made the right decision. Now, if you can sign a complaint, we'll bring him in. I can't do that. He threatened to kill me. Do you know how close he lives? Carrie, he can't get to you if he's behind bars. I know, but I can't. I can't, Mom. Take a couple of days to consider things, Miss Roberts. When you're ready, if you're ready, you can come in and sign a formal complaint, all right? Bruce? Kelly Mann on line one. Hello. Remember I phoned you the other day about a 16-year-old who said she'd been raped by Alex Kelly? Oh, yeah, Carrie Roberts. Yes, did she decide to press charges? No, but there's another girl claiming he just did the same thing last night. <sighs> it's my fault. It is not your fault, Carrie. <sighs> but I could have stopped it. If I'd sign that complaint. Honey, you couldn't possibly have known. No. I can't let him do it again. Hello, Carrie. I'm ready to press charges against Alex Kelly. For rape. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm glad you both came. I can only imagine how alone you must be feeling right now. Kind of like the world isn't a safe place anymore. Hmm? It takes a lot of courage to go through something like this. But I want you to know that I'll be with you every step of the way. But I also want you to know that it is going to get rough. But I want you to try to remember, no matter how hard it gets, that I'm on your side. What's it like to testify in court? It's just like having a conversation. I ask you a question, you answer. No games, no rehearsed speeches, just you being yourself. Okay, let's talk about... 
Alex Kelly. How long will he be in jail? Until the trial starts? Uh, no. A week, perhaps. I did ask for an unusually high bail. Keep me in a little longer. 500,000? Why is it so high? Well, given last year's difficulties of drug rehab, we don't... We don't have a lot of leverage, Alex. Look, I feel terrible about all this. I mean, just when I thought I had all the bad stuff behind me, now this. Darling, this is not entirely your fault. Chris... Chris took a lot of our attention and... Uh, I take a lot of this blame, son. I, I'm just worried they're gonna use my past against me. Well, honey, they don't know you the way we do. The truth will come out, I promise. If everyone believes those girls... If I can't beat this thing... But you will, son. You will. We've hired the best damn lawyer in the state. Uh, Mickey Sherman. He's good. And what do you think our chances are? Well, we have two plaintiffs with the same story, and if the judge joins the cases together, I think we stand an excellent chance. We'll get through this. I love you. I love you too, Lou. I want to meet her. The other girl. Well, I'm sorry, but I couldn't allow that. Why not? Because Mickey will say that you were comparing stories, that you had done this together. You're going to have to trust me on this one. I don't want to compare stories. I just want to apologize. Can I tell you a little secret? I could have arrested Alex a few days ago. When I read your story in the police report, I could have impounded the Jeep, taken him in. But I didn't. I waited, just like you. So you see, we could either blame ourselves, or we can put him away. Together. Uh, could I speak to Carrie, please? I'll see if she'll come to the phone. Who is it? It's, uh, it's Alex Kelly. Please? Now you listen to me. Don't you ever dare to call here again. Do you understand me? That was him, wasn't it? Honey, it's all right. He's gonna kill me. He said so. Carrie, he is not. He's in jail. For how long? I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Sherman. It's Mickey, and uh, thank you, folks. They put up the house, not me. I still can't believe any of this. I just can't wait to get back to school, get things back to normal. Right. Yeah, uh, about school, they'd prefer you to study at home for now. They'll provide it to them, just until things calm down a bit. D doesn't that make me look guilty? It won't be for long, son. Morning. Morning. Are you going to school today? No. I have a math quiz for Spirit. Wish you luck. Good luck. Are you? Well, have a good day. Honey, come on. You don't want to be late for Dr. Alonso. Mom, where's the car parked? Out front. Can you pull it into the garage? Oh, Carrie, it's just outside the front door. Mom, he lives right down the street. Please! 
Hey, you know this reminds me of when we were kids, you know? Staying home on snow days. Yeah. Why aren't we drinking milk and cookies now? Yeah, probably for the last time. <laughs> mm. You know, I never thought I would miss being seven. Yeah. It'd be nice to be a kid again. Have all those people cooing and fussing. Come on in. Alex, I can't go to the game with you. You can't? Alex, I can't see you anymore. Since when? My parents don't think it's a good idea. I'm sorry. Erica, wait a second. Erica? Erica! Come on with you. I think Erica just broke up with me. You mean just now? Yeah, but I saw it coming. Huh. So you, uh, you gonna blow off the basketball game tonight? I don't know. It's gonna be weird being out. You want to sit, boss? Oh my God, Alex! 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 Ashley, I can't stop him from coming to a basketball game. Well, you're not letting him back into school, are you? We haven't made a final decision. My sister still can't leave the house because of what he did to her, and you haven't made a decision. Hi. Who won the game? I don't know. What do you mean? talk to you? Yeah. I feel like we've become strangers. Like, like you're mad at me. No, Ash. I've just been going through a lot. It's not you. Are you sure? I mean, about that night. But I didn't go with you to the party. Ash. No, really. I think about it all the time. Whether you're angry with me for not going with you. Oh, Carrie. I'm so sorry. else. It kills me to see you locked up in the house all day while Alex Kelly is out running around. You seen him? He was at the game. But he didn't see me. I, I ran out. But you've got to get out, Gary. You can't let him ruin your life. Ashley, come on, we're late. Let's go. Coming. Mark, don't forget I have a meeting this afternoon. Good morning. I need the start. I thought I'd go to school today. I don't understand why they're sending me my diploma in March. I haven't even graduated. Well, they've graduated you early. Apparently you have enough credits. 
But I want to be in school. You can't go to school, but they will let students and their parents spread false accusations and rumors about you. They are the ones being disruptive. We don't have to accept this. Hello? Harry, what's wrong? I got scared. Sorry. Hey. Hey, buddy. That just got a rain. Uh, yeah, I uh, haven't seen you around much. Yeah, I've been kind of busy. Listen, Scott, I need your help. Some detectives going around asking questions. You have to tell them I, I didn't drive Carrie Roberts home that night. Or I stayed at the party. Uh, I can't do that, Alex. Come on. What's yeah, the... Sorry, all right? I can't. What's the... Take your clothes off. trying to kill me again. I always wake up in time. I know it doesn't feel like it, honey, but you're going to get through this. I, I promise you. Well, it's like that night won't ever end. I hear his voice. I see his face. I can't get away from him. Everybody knows, don't they? No, not at all. Very few people know. Your mother and I are going to do everything we can to keep it that way. If there's some... Um, is there anything you need from me? Do you want to talk? Dad, I am so... Angry. Like I have never been in my life. It scares me. Don't be scared. Think of it as something healthy. A good way to fight back. Okay. Hope you're not too angry to go back to sleep. Scott won't say anything because he's scared. None of my friends want to get involved. Hello? No, I have nothing to say about that. And don't call my house again. Damn reporters. Have you talked to all the other kids at Luke's party? I told you, Mom. Nobody wants to talk. They're avoiding me. Boy, you sure find out who your friends are when the chips are down. You're investigating this. What else can you do? I'll talk to them again. I need to find someone who can say they saw Carrie get into a different car. As Alex is saying. All right, then find him. And leave no stone unturned. Don't answer that, Melanie. I will not have my son be made the target of a witch hunt. Surely someone will talk. I can't tell you how good this felt. Getting out. Thank you. 
When was the last time? I can't even remember. Thank you. This is the second time the Morrisons have canceled brunch at the last moment. I can't imagine why. Some people are pointing at Ashley, thinking she's the one. Where's that sheet with the trial dates on it? Thank you. Trial date is February 18th, six months from now. And will the cases be tried together? I hope so. We're still waiting on that. Gary, I have some news that'll make you feel better. Alex Kelly's leaving Darien. He won't be back to the trial. Where's he going? Colorado. Give me a chance to clear my head. Get away from all this craziness. Got a job lined up in some restaurant. Yeah. Alex Sherman's a great lawyer. You know, he's going to pull you through this. Yeah, well, if he's really great, he'll get the cases tried separately. Otherwise, I am screwed. If I lose... Alex, you're not going to lose. I mean, you didn't do anything. I'm scared, Chris. When I was in rehab at Juvie Hall, I heard stories about what they do to you in real jail. There's no way I could survive that. Just so you all know, Carrie made the dressing and the potatoes. Suddenly, I'm not so hungry. <laughs> yeah, but you're serving turkey at the dorm cafeteria? Uh, you can still make it, you know. No, thanks. Two months of that food is punishment enough. <laughs> Look, we've got him here. Let's keep him here for a while. That's okay. <laughs> Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Thanks for the guidance you've given us, Phil. May we never lose our faith. Amen. snowing that night. It's okay. It's okay. What if I can't face him? We'll all be in the courtroom with you. And we'll face him together. Well, as you know, the judge has decided to consolidate both cases. Obviously not what we wanted. Now, we can plea bargain. The state is offering you 15 years to serve. There's no way. Why should I go to jail for something I didn't do? The deck has been stacked against him from the beginning. This so-called system of ours is not working. Mickey, um, speaking frankly, what are Alex's chances? Speaking frankly, not great.
to come without Alex. Maybe coming later. So, Mr. Sherman, any idea yet where your client might be? I'm sorry, Your Honor. I just conferred with his parents and they haven't heard from him in the last couple of days. I can only assume he's not coming because he's scared. Recess the court. Well, it looks like Alex jumped bail. His parents have absolutely no idea where he is. I'm sorry. Are we landing in Brussels? No. He is accused of raping two women in Connecticut. Out on bail, he failed to appear for his trial and disappeared without a trace. Alex Kelly has continued to elude federal and local authorities for over two years. He has been cited as far away as Germany and most recently as close to home as Boston. FBI agents hey, are awaiting your call. Uh, this is great communication Real seminar on Thursday night. We'll continue in a moment. Hi, Carrie. What's wrong? They said on television that Alex was here in Boston. Is that true? No, no. There's been dozens of rumors, and the FBI has pursued all of them, and none of them point to Alex being in this country. Believe me, I would have called you. You have to tell me this stuff, Bruce. I don't want to hear about it on TV. Carrie, calm down. Calm down? You know what's occurred to me, Bruce? He has to kill me now because it's the only way he's ever going to be free. Carrie, he'll never be free no matter what he does. And the last thing he would do right now would be to come after you. Carrie, let me worry about Alex and you take care of yourself. And try not to let this consume you. I've seen it happen, and you end up losing no matter what happens with the case. Alex? Alex Kelly? Dude! Dude, it's Blair. Just Arthur High, 85, remember? Je ne te comprends pas. Oh, very funny, man. I know it's you. Somebody told me they ran into you. I think it was like, uh, it was Ireland. Let's want to kill, huh? Alex. Mange la merde, toi. Huh? Alex! I'll buy you a beer! Oh, Pardon, monsieur. You're tired of it. Chris. Yeah, man. Can you say coffee? Um... Oh, thanks. Are you the one? Mr. Oh. Conqueror? Oh, no, no, I'm just the stage manager. Oh. It's a good play, though, you should see it. Well, with a title like that, I think I will. I'm Craig, by the way. I'm Carrie. Carrie. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Allons, debout. Debout. <laughs> oh, I, I had a rough night. Pardon? I, I'm gonna go. Vos papiers. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Passport. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, no, it's, uh, right here. You've been here, um, a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the U.S. soon. Okay. 
Monsieur! Un jeune Américain. Mrs. Kelly. Mr. Brown, these FBI visits are bordering on harassment. Oh, I know how painful this must be for you, Mrs. Kelly. But you're not helping him by letting him stay out there. We will find him. Eventually. Believe what you want, Brown. We don't know where Alex is. Are any of you aware of the laws pertaining to the aiding and abetting of a fugitive? Well, I suggest you read up on him. Do you realize we've seen each other almost every day this week? Uh, is my imagination or is something happening here? It's definitely your imagination. Oh, funny. <laughs> it's been very nice. Well, good. Because I have Celtic tickets for tomorrow night, and I thought, uh, well, maybe you'd like to go? You being a basketball fan at all. Is everything okay? Craig, there's something about me that you should know. Five years ago, I was raped. It was pretty bad. He threatened to kill me, and he's still out there. Carrie. It's a lot to handle. And if you don't want to get involved, I understand. Carrie, if you're willing to let me, I might be able to share this with you. It doesn't scare you? The only thing that would scare me is the thought of not getting to know you better. Fine, I'm with Anna. Darling, I have some... I have some very bad news. Talk to the <laughs> Mom, I can't. Chris is dead. <laughs> what? He overdosed on his pain medication. <laughs> no. I'm so sorry to tell you like this, honey. I should be home with you and Dad. Alex. I just want you to take care of yourself, okay? Be really careful out there. I love you, Alex. I love you, Mom. Alex, what is it? My brother just died. Oh, no. He was my best friend in the whole world. A real rebel. <laughs> and a fighter. He crashed his motorcycle. Doctors told him he would never walk again. So he enrolled himself in his alternative therapy school. And when they gave him his diploma, he, he had to limp across this big field to get it. People gave him a standing ovation. I don't know what happened. Maybe if I'd been there. Will you go back home? I can't.
It must be hard for you. I just get so tired of... looking over my shoulder and being afraid. Alex, I feel very happy with you. You could make a life in Sweden. Find peace. Even happiness. I've got some encouraging news. The FBI just took a statement from a guy who says he saw Alex Kelly in Europe. And it seems they've got enough for a search warrant in the Kelly home. We're going to get this guy, Carrie. Well, that would be nice. You're not giving up on me, are you? I guess I just wish this whole thing was behind me. I'll uh, tell you what. You won't hear from me again until I've got something real. How's that? Yeah, like when the trial's over and he's in jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, life has settled into a nice routine. Anna and I spend the winters in the mountains and the summers helping your family in Sweden. I can't believe it's been two years since Chris died. I still miss him very much. I hope you guys will be able to come this winter. It would be great to see you. It would also be great if you could get something in the mail soon. I'm broke. Anyway, 94 promises to be a good year. Next week, we're going to go back to France for some skiing and ice climbing. Sometimes I think I could live this way forever. search warrant from the New Haven District Court. Please excuse us. Okay, guys, let's do it. Johnson, Roberts, upstairs. Pastorates, what's your Making sure the uh, Kelly family is comfortable in their uh, in their jungle room. Let go of me! Oh, Champagne. Oh, where's my martini? Dad. We uh, we have some news. Craig and I are engaged. Oh! I knew it! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Happy for you. Uh, let me see those phone records. Murray, take a look at that. <laughs> wow. I'd say you two really lucked out. Considering you didn't know where he was. Out here. Hey, call our pals, Interpol, someplace called Cladis Holman, Sweden. Okay, thank you. Everything all right? That was Bruce Hudock. He says they're about to get Alex Kelly. Oh, that's great. I think, isn't it? I'm not sure. We have a hectic order for Alex Kelly. Tyvärr så var inte här. Did you come in? Mm. 
I love you. We have every night of our lives to be together. Come on. Hi, Ray Marcos. Hi, thanks for coming all this way. I thought you'd be Mr. Sherman. Well, your parents thought it'd be better to have a you know, fresh approach. Come on, let's walk. So, Alex, why now? I just got tired of running. Tired of looking over my shoulder. Not to mention my passport's about to expire. But it's more than that. I've seen my parents three times in eight years. I lost my brother. I'd know where to go. I'm assuming you've had a lot of time to think about your case. I had sex with those two girls, I admit that. But I didn't rape them. The only reason why I ran was because I didn't think I would get a fair trial. The sex was consensual. Alex, I've looked through your reports and I think you've got every chance for a fair trial. And I'm here to find the most expeditious way to get you home. There's, there's something else. My parents? No, they won't be prosecuted. The FBI warrant to search their house was obtained without due process. Well, I guess there's no place like home. Alex, 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 the state requests that Mr. Kelly's bond be set at $2 million because no one can promise that he'll actually be here on the day that we start picking a jury. As Your Honor is aware, the state constitution dictates that a defendant's bail not be so high that it keeps him in jail awaiting trial. So we request $100,000. Mr. Kelly, I do find you a high flight risk, so I'm going to set bail at $1 million. And I'm also ordering that if you do meet bond, you'll wear an electronic monitor and be subject to a nightly curfew. When I get married, I'm going to specify. No towel. Yes, money. Do we have much football? Oh, wait, come on. Come on, it's the biggest game of the season. It's such a mess. It's unbelievable. Sweet. Is that a sort of So you raped her? No, I did not rape anyone. Did you ever use violence against them? Never. It's unbelievable that somebody would... I mean, it's just not real. Why would I rape somebody? Maybe because you hate women. Exactly. Oh, come on. Let's go back to the game. Gary, you, you must know this story, too. You're from Connecticut, right? Uh, no, I I didn't follow the, uh, because I am. the case too closely. Are you telling us both girls are lying? Well, I don't think they're exactly telling the truth. I'm with him. Correct. Well, well that's intelligent. So oh, Knowing that two women over the span of four days made these claims, and still you have no doubts. Why? I love him, and he loves me. And we have a life to You idiot! Oh my God! Now you see that? If he could get a babe like that, why would he need to go and rape somebody? Oh, well, that's illegal. Do the two girls felt knowing he left the country? I don't think any mother would expect her child to sit in a cell for 15 years for something he didn't do. Alex was to include another person in his life, a young Swedish woman by the name of Anna Carlson. The whole world thinks of him as a rapist. That's not him. That could never be him. That's not the kind of person he is. They lived together for five years. The American media is very different than the Swedish press. They have hurt me. They have hurt my family, Alex. They asked my father how it feels to know their future son-in-law is a rapist. It is unbearable for them. 
I still believe you, but... I never dreamed it would be this bad, but I'm sorry. Listen to me. This is the worst part. When the trial's over, we can get married. Alex. No. no. It does not feel right to me here. The Justice Department is still considering whether to prosecute Melanie. I'm sorry. Today, but they say they will be fighting to clear their son. This time, in a courtroom in Connecticut. Gary? Hi. Hi. Sorry, I got stuck at the office. Big meeting. In a big contract. Mm. I'm starved. Are you okay? How was your day? Terrible. Why? What happened? They were on national television. Who? Alex and his parents. They called me a liar. And my own friends even took his side. And I couldn't say anything. It was like he was in our house. And I had to sit here and take it all by myself. Carrie, listen. This is a big story. And it's only going to get worse because you can't tell your side. I know how painful this must be for you, but we are going to get through this. Craig, I know you think that you can share all of this with me. But you can't. Why? Because... Because you don't know. It's really hard... It's really hard to explain what it's like to feel incomplete. Incomplete? Even with you as a wife. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. I know how much that hurts me. And I know it hurts you too. It's not what's important. But it is. And you're always so understanding. You put up with more than anyone should have to put up with. Carrie, every couple has stuff to work out. You're no different. You know that. I don't care what made you who you are. And you're not incomplete. I can't imagine being with anyone else. You have to accept that. Carrie, please. I need you to accept that. Sailor. Erica, what are, you, what are you doing here? I just started. A couple nights a week. I can't believe it. How have you been? Pretty good, I guess. So, here we are. Yep. <laughs> Whoever would have thought. Yeah, it's funny how things work out. So can you hang out for a bit? Oh, I can't. I have a nine o'clock curfew. Okay. But don't be a stranger. Is that the guy that raped those girls? The eyes is What's he doing here? He should be in jail. What? I saw you on TV the other night. Really? I wasn't watching. Aren't you out past your bedtime? <laughs> I did it? I said, do you think I did it? It's trash. Let's play some pool. Hey, I asked you girls a question. Am I guilty or innocent? Go ahead, take your best shot. Look, we really aren't interested in discussing it. Why the hell not? Everybody else? You're all a bunch of hypocrites. All of you! Hypocrites! Come on, buddy. 
my god. I'm okay. I am okay. So I'm okay. This is where Ray Marcazzi and Alex Kelly will be seated. This is where I'll start from. This, of course, is the jury box. And this is where you'll be. Do me a favor, come sit in the witness stand. Oh, Bruce, I don't feel like it. Just humor me, okay? Now, I brought along a copy of your original statement to the police from 1986. Let's go over it. I think I know the story. Well, I'm sure you do, but let's look at it anyway. We'll refresh your memory. I'll take it home with me. Is that all right? Terry, you've waited for ten years to face Alex in court, and you've got one shot at it. One shot against a very sharp lawyer. Now, if you're having second thoughts, you should say something right now. Bruce, I've read the papers. I know that Alex has been getting drunk, hassling women in bars. He hasn't changed. He's still running. As much as I'd like to believe otherwise, I don't see why he's going to show up this time for a trial. Terry? promises to be one of the most notorious rape trials of this decade, Alex Kelly, a fugitive from justice for eight years, faces his accuser tomorrow and faces a possible 110 years in prison. Kelly will eventually have to face new charges following a police chase and car crash several weeks ago, which left his girlfriend bleeding on the street while Kelly fled. I should get going. Look, I, I never got a chance to tell you about how bad I felt for what happened. How are you feeling? Better. It only hurts when I breathe. <laughs> Erica? You must be going through a lot. Yeah. yeah I, I'm trying to keep everything together, you know? I just want things to be better. I can't blame if you're mad at me. How could I be mad at you? I still love you. Mm. I will be with you tomorrow. Good night, Mr. and Mrs. Kelly. Good night, Eric. Hi, Dad. Just uh, saying good night. You uh, ready for tomorrow? Now we'll just uh, you know get get a good night's sleep, huh? anything? Your life, maybe? 
Well, we're working on it. It's funny, I was thinking about when you were a little boy, you know. You were a constant joy to me, Alex. You know, I still have those ceramic ducks that you made for me in the bookcase. I know, Mom, I saw them. Do you remember all the costumes I made you for your school project? The better ones and the <laughs> Chinese New Year. I don't know if you can. I just pray it's enough. Well, good night. I can't believe this day is finally here. For ten years I've been wanting to face him. Now all I feel is dread. Mr. Hudock, you may call your first witness. The state calls Carrie Warren. to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Good morning, Carrie. What happened next? I could only see the ceiling of the car. And he leaned behind me and did something to the seat, and he was holding my neck the whole time. It hurt so bad. He told me to spread my legs wider. And that if I didn't, he would make it hurt more. I kept trying to close my legs, and he kept trying to push them apart. He was pushing me so hard that my head would bang against the back of the car door. I need a minute. Are you all right, Mrs. Warren? Can you tell the jury what happened next, Carrie? He took his hand off my neck. Started to sit up. And told me to get dressed. I couldn't move my legs, they were numb. So I started to roll to the side and look for my clothes. But he had put a light on and I saw that there was blood underneath me. So I found a scarf or something to cover it with. And why did you do that? Because I was afraid that if he saw it, that he would hurt me again. And how old were you, Carrie? I was 16. Now, what were your parents' rules on drinking? We weren't allowed to drink. 
And as a matter of fact, you were 16 on February the 10th, 1986. Correct? That's correct. Now, you correct me if I'm wrong, but in the state of Connecticut, that would not be a legal drinking age. Is that right? That's right. Now, when you spoke to the police department, did you tell them that you were a participant that night in a drinking game called quarters? No. Any particular reason why you didn't tell them? No. I mean, it didn't occur to you that, that might be information they might want to have. No. So at this party, after having these beers, you must have been somewhat high or, or had a buzz on or whatever the term is. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. If I understood your testimony this morning, while he was holding you, you say that Alex Kelly reached behind you and somehow he did something with the back seat. Yes, while he choked me, he reached over with his right arm and he did something behind my seat. Yeah, to make the seat go away. I assume so, yes. But isn't it a fact that in order to fold down the seat of a 1983 Jeep, one must first reach over, Objection. and then maybe from outside the car, you Objection. press a button, and then you fold the seat down? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Counsel knows better than to ask a question like that. She doesn't qualify as an expert. Get on with it, Mr. Marcassi. You did ask Alex Kelly, after this sex took place, if in fact he'd used a condom, correct? Yes, I did. In order to determine if you might become pregnant. Among other things. But were you concerned about becoming pregnant? Yes. By the way, you learned on this evening that Alex Kelly had a regular girlfriend named Erica Hudson. Were you jealous of the fact that you had sex with somebody who had a steady girlfriend and there would be no future to this relationship? I was raped. Yes, I know that's what you testified. This morning, that was not the first time you ran through your version of events, correct? Correct. And when did you last meet with Mr. Hudock to go through your version? This past weekend. In this courtroom? Yes. So I could call that sort of um, dress rehearsal. Objection. It was not... Sustained and stricken. No further questions. Mm. All right, go ahead, Counselor. Lieutenant, would you fold the seat down, please? Using only one hand. So is that possible? No, sir. Would you use two hands, please? Thank you. I have no further questions of the car, Your Honor. The defense tells us that it was consensual sex. That having never had sexual intercourse before, she agreed to go into the back of the Jeep Wagoneer. So now she finally got to say what she'd been waiting ten years to say. Well, that ain't true. What she said on the stand the first day of the trial, she'd rehearsed over and over the weekend before. You saw performance. So he stops the Jeep. With all the speed and agility that only a star wrestler could achieve, he's on top of her. His fingers are at her throat. She can't breathe. He compels Carrie by force to move to the back of the Jeep. Remember her testimony. His hand never left my neck. Well, now everybody knows to fold down the seat of a wagoneer requires two hands. She agreed to first time sex on a cold winter's night on top of booster cables in the back of a jeep with a man she'd only known for a few minutes. Does that seem credible to you? Well, if she didn't know whether or not he wore a condom, wouldn't that explain to you why she was concerned about being pregnant? And what would you do in that situation? You came from a strict Catholic family with its prohibitions and its rules. So I submit to you that Carrie Roberts lied to her family about what happened, and her family took this out of her hands. Now, all the little pieces don't have to fit a thousand percent. We don't have to prove a thousand percent. That's what reasonable doubt is all about. If this were rape, why weren't the clothes ripped? Why weren't they torn in any respect? And if this were a rape, why were the clothes taken off at all? Reasonable doubt, ladies and gentlemen. Reasonable doubt about what actually happened. Well, I guess this is it. 
We've received a note from your foreperson stating that you are unable to reach a unanimous verdict. Is that the consensus of everyone on the panel? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Under these circumstances, the court declares a mistrial. The court is adjourned. I find it difficult to accept that this wasn't a star-studded performance by the Roberts. Designer suits and all. But to watch a family, they're, they're perfectly coiffed, they're dressed to kill, they're sitting in the front row, you'd almost get the impression that they, they enjoyed being there. And if you ask me, they were very unvictim victims. Bruce, what could we do better for the next time? The original police report does not lie. I did say he took both hands off my neck for a second. What? What's wrong? Well, there's something else I'd like you to think about in terms of your presentation. You mean my testimony? No. Your choice of wardrobe. It sends a message to the jury how they perceive you. You want me to dress like a victim? No, I didn't say that. I just don't think you should look like you stepped off the pages of a fashion magazine. Maybe if you wore something simpler. So it's not about what I say or what's happened to me. If I dress too nicely, nobody will sympathize with me. The jury wants to see you. Your pain, how it affected you. Just... Just think about it. Okay? He's also going for a different jury. He's going to try and find family people and war veterans. He says... He says military guys won't respect Alex because he ran instead of fighting. It's interesting, don't you think? Yeah. And now that I know what to expect, Marcasi shouldn't be as scary as he was the first time. Anyway, I think we're going to win this one. Carrie, have you thought about what happens if you don't win? Listen, I was wrong when I said that you couldn't share this with me. You have. And no matter what happens, after this, you're my life. So the state calls Carrie Warren. Right hand on the Bible. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So I hope you got. I do. Would you state your name, please? Carrie Warren. <laughs> Members of the panel. Have you reached a verdict? 
We find the defendant, Alex Kelly, guilty of sexual assault in the first degree. <laughs> I did not do this! Why are you doing this to me? How did you sleep last night? Like a baby. No nightmares. Well, Carrie, you've had your last nightmare.